not a great pressure drop. We've got an inlet of 35, almost 40 PSI, and out of 24, making for a difference in the neighborhood of 13 PSI across this strainer here. This needs clean. We're gonna get into that. This is interesting. Over the course of 11 minutes, we've gone all over the place in pressure, still maintaining 10 on our pressure drop, as high as grade 13 there at the beginning. So we got the system isolated with the butterfly valves uh, on the incoming and outgoing. We've got our hose hooked up and we're starting to bleed pressure off our system. Okay, our pressure should be falling. As our butterfly valves close all the way, it should bleed to zero and that should be it. Awful cloudy up here. All right, the more that comes out of this strainer, the darker and grosser it gets. Here's the gasket, and there's the actual strainer. All kinds of nonsense in there. Yeah, that's just the water that's coming out of the strainer. Lots of particles. gross. Alright, this thing's dirty. Oh, she's in there. Mm. Man, that's plugged up. Yeah, it was time. So you can see this is our inline strainer. Well, the body for it anyway. The strainer is currently being cleaned. Let's get the flash going. All right. That heads to our Breeze Play heat exchanger. Oh, I got it upside down. That goes from our feed. The contaminant here was pretty black, probably corrosion. We're gonna clean this out real good. And then we plan to refill uh, this section here. We got about two and a half gallons that came out of the system. We'd like to put that back. So we're gonna use this Feral Pal demineralizer in order to clean up our water to replace what came out when we pull this strainer out. Much cleaner. So this is a new cartridge. So we're just filling it with water for the first time and bleeding off the first couple gallons just to make sure we don't have any uh, particulate coming out of the filter here but it was pretty clear from the first drop. We're just gonna purge the heat exchanger a little bit. Let's go ahead. All right, running clear now, but 
all that came out of here. That's nice. We are flowing through with demineralized water. See these resin beads. We're still, we're getting clearer and clearer. But yeah, there was a lot of garbage in that exchanger. Strainer going back in. We got a new gasket in there. We're getting everything started by hand. Uh, we really don't want to cross thread anything. So these are all half inch bolts. So we're just getting them all started and then we'll come back through with a little bit more torque. We just want to make sure all our threads are nice and engaged. Going around doing kind of a star tightening pattern. But what's key is we're starting by hand, not with any power tools. Let's go ahead, let's open up our demineralizer. And then we're gonna start to fill at the bottom of the heat exchanger. We got this port open, where we're purging our air out. And then once we see steady water up here, we should have our bubbles out as that is the highest point in this line, so. Starting our fill. Oh, you can feel the air coming out of there. should have a pretty similar amount of water now back in here to what we lost getting ready to open back up our butterfly valves one's open Let's set back up our pressure drop rig. Let's see how we're looking now that that strainer's been cleaned. After we have um, a point, point 0.4, point 0.4 PSI pressure drop. So let's go ahead and start this measurement. All right, we're flowing again. Valve is open. Everything's moving here. We've got one pressure port here, one pressure port here. Feeding back to our Testo app. Half a PSI pressure drop now. I like that a lot more than 10 to 14. Valve one, closed. Valve two, closed. Valve three, 